come to the teaching of the Word of God, I'm so glad that you are hungry for the things of God. The book of Psalm chapter 34, verses 15 to 16, the Bible gives us the important promise for us. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turned His face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. From this scripture, we can see that when you know the truth of God and you do what is right, the Lord will look at you and He will open heaven over you and answer your prayer. I believe today you will learn many important truths from this teaching. God bless you. See you in the teaching. I'm so glad that we can spend time reading the scriptures and praying together. I believe that the Word of God never fails. His promises are yes and amen. In this session, I would like to read the scripture to build our faith and we can pray together for God's miracle and healings upon our life. The Word of God stands forever and we can trust His promises. Let us pray. Father, we thank You so much, Lord, that we can come to You by faith. We trust You. We believe in Your Word. We believe that Your promises in the Bible are yes and amen, Lord. And we believe, Lord, that You listen to our prayer and You will answer us, Lord. You say in the Bible, ask and it will be given to You. Therefore, we're going to ask by faith and we believe that you will really fulfill your promises, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8, the Bible says, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. We read the word and we believe that the Word of God always come true. The promises of God will be always fulfilled. God is not a man who can lie. He never lies. Therefore, we're going to stand in the promises of God together. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, the Bible says that, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the Word of God. When we hear the Word, we let the Word of God come into our heart and build faith on the inside here. We should listen to the Word of God. We should read the Bible out loud and build faith. And one of the promises of God recorded in the Scriptures is divine healing. So let us have faith together that our God is the physician. He is the almighty God who can heal any diseases. Doctors have limitation and they may not be able to heal certain diseases, but God can perform miracles. He is able to take away sicknesses and diseases from our body. God heals not only the physical body, but He heals the brokenhearted. In Psalm 147 verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So let us pray together that God is going to heal your body and your hearts. Some of you may have a bitter heart or wounds in your heart. Some of you may be disappointed and very sad or very depressed. Some of you may have a heart of full of burdens and worry and anxiety. God can really touch your heart and He can heal your heart. Let us pray together. Father, You are the healer, Lord. We believe, Lord, that You can touch our body and heal our body, Lord. And we believe, Lord, that you can give joy and faith and love 
to us to fill our heart, Father. Therefore, right now, I pray in the name of Yeshua HaMakshik, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that my brothers and sisters who are watching and listening to this program right now shall receive your healing in their body, in their mind, in their heart, in their feelings. O oh Lord, heal them, Lord, and make them healthy in every aspect of their life, Lord. I believe, Father, that you can shower your grace upon my brothers and sisters, your children, and you can touch their heart. May your Holy Spirit touch the heart of your people and touch the body. I believe, Father, that the power of the resurrection can really remove the sickness and disease, the depression and bitterness and sadness and anger from the heart of your people. O oh Lord, we declare and proclaim that they are healed and by the stripe of Jesus Christ, they shall be healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34 say, Though he scoffs at the scoffers, and scorns the scorners. Yet he gives his undeserved favor to the low in rank, the humble, and the afflicted. The Lord is the God of favor. Let us cry now to him. Let us humble ourselves and say that, God, I cannot help myself. Some of you have been afflicted by sickness, maybe chronic sickness, maybe some incurable disease. But let us humble ourselves and come to the throne of grace and ask him for his favor and heal our sickness and the things that have been attacking our body, our mind, our feeling and emotion. Father, we ask for your favor, Lord. We believe, Father, that you are the God of grace. Your mercies endure forever. You are the God of miracle. You are the God who loves to show your favor to the humble. And Lord, we right now humble ourselves before you and ask you to shower your favor upon us, Lord. You promise, Lord, that you can heal and deliver the afflicted. And we come to you right now and ask you for healing, for deliverance, for victory, for divine health, by your favor that we don't deserve, we come and ask you, Lord, Lord, if there is anything in our life that we should repent, please show us, Lord. We want to humble ourselves and repent before you, Lord, and we want to depend on your grace and your favor. Lord, touch your people who is listening in this time right now who really loves you and seek your help lord right now shower your favor lord in jesus mighty name amen the lord is our strength when we are weak he can give us his strength psalm chapter 28 verse 7 the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song, I will praise him. Oh, the Lord is our strength. The Lord is our helper. The Lord is the answer to our life. Let's believe God together that he's going to give us good health, supernatural strength, super abundant life. We're going to be healthy, strong and sharp in our mind, live a long life to serve Him together. Let's pray and believe God that He's going to give us strength and we're going to rejoice because we see the miracle happen in our life. Father, give your people your strength, supernatural strength, supernatural anointing, life. Give them, Lord, the sound mind, sharp mind, 
joy. The joy of the Lord is their strength, Lord. Therefore, Father, if they feel weak, they feel that they cannot walk, their arms may be weak from a stroke, or they may have problem with their eyes, their vision is weak. Lord, it doesn't matter what it is in their body right now. We declare that you are the God who gives us strength. Therefore, pour your strength upon your people right now. We receive by faith. We receive with the heart of thankfulness, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. We believe you're going to give us strength to serve you, to be the blessing to other people. We're going to live for your kingdom. We're going to build your church. We're going to glorify your name, Lord. And we can serve you to the old age, even though our age is getting older and older. Our body may be weaker and weaker in the sense of aging, but we can be strong by the power of God, even at the old age. Lord, we don't believe in weakness. We believe in strength. Therefore, you're going to give a supernatural strength, Lord. Give them strength on their back, their knees, their ankle. Give them strength on their muscle, their heart, their lungs, Lord. Bless them indeed. In Jesus' name, amen. The joy of the Lord is good medicine. Therefore, we can ask God for the joy of the Lord. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Let us ask God to give us joy. The joy of the Lord will boost up our immune system, will give us strength in the body, in our emotion, in our mind, and our spirit. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to give us faith and joy. Father, fill your people, Lord, with your faith. Fill their heart with your joy. They will laugh. They will have a big smile on their faith. They're going to walk by faith. They will not worry about tomorrow. They will not be anxious about finances and their jobs and their future. Lord, give them supernatural faith and joy. And Lord, your people in this generation are going to be full of joy. They can smile in the midst of troubles. They can laugh even though the situation look hopeless, Father. Oh Lord, <laughs> bless your people with the joy of the Lord. You say in the Bible, Lord, that the kingdom of God is not of eating or drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, Father, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them Send your fire into their life, Lord, all the time, on a regular basis, that they can laugh, they can fill their heart with the joy of the Holy Spirit by faith, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, It shall come to pass in that day that his burden, the burden of the devil, the burden of our enemy, will be taken away from your shoulder. And his yoke, the yoke of the enemy that was put on our life to destroy us, to steal from us, and to kill us from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Oh, Father, I pray, your anointing right now will touch your people in this program who are listening to this prayer and read the Bible with me, Lord. And Lord, your anointing to touch their body, touch their mind, touch their spirit, and the yoke upon their life around their neck 
shall be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name and the burdens on their shoulder, be the physical burden, financial burden, family burden, ministry burden, anything that caused them to be depressed and discouraged and down must be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. May the anointing of the Lord be poured upon them. Fill them, Lord, with the Holy Spirit, and they shall be healthy and strong. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Fill them, Lord, with the Holy Spirit. Fill them, Lord. Your anointing work in them. And through them, Father, they shall be healthy and strong. And they shall serve you, Lord. Bless them indeed, Lord. Give them shalom, peace, divine health, prosperity, prophetic words, and protection, Father, shalom, and victory by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pour your grace upon them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. May the Lord really give you supernatural health, divine health, and I declare and command that no matter what kind of sickness you have, the sickness in your mind, emotion, or in your body must go away, must be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we thank you, Lord, for healing your people. Lord, we're going to have a testimony to tell people we will live and not die, and declare the works of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I will see you again in the prayer time like this, and I believe that you will build your faith by reading the Bible out loud, listening to the good anointed sermon, and let the Word of God come into your heart and build your faith. You overcome the world by faith and you can receive healing and victory by faith. He will help you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for listening to this teaching. I'm so glad that you are the one who seek the Lord with all your heart and would like to receive the spiritual food. I would like to encourage you from Zechariah chapter 4, verse 10. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. I believe that if you start something new and it's too small, don't lose heart because our God is a God of increase and multiplication. Just be faithful in obeying the Lord and following the Holy Spirit and you will see the increase and the blessing in your life. I will see you again in the next teaching. God bless you. Heavenly Father loves you so much. He wants to bless you, anoint you, and use you to be the blessing to the nations. May He put His hand upon you and give you so much grace, so much strength, joy, and wisdom. May the fire of God come and burn on the inside of you and use you to touch many lives in the world. May heaven be opened over you and pour the goodness of God, the blessing of the Lord into your life. May God use you to carry the fire to other people. Set the captive free. Heal the sick preach the gospel and make disciples build his kingdom may the grace of God work in your life and you become fruitful and you will have many rewards in heaven may the Lord get the glory through your life